walking away from the truth. Exodus 24, 9, 10 said they went up Moses, Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and the seven hills, and they saw the Elohim of Israel. There was under his feet a paved work of a sapphire stone, body of heaven in his clearness. So that's 74 people saw the Creator because that's when Moses saw the creation. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The divine title for the Word or Son is Elohim. The true name of the Holy Spirit is Yahshua the Messiah. It was never Jesus. The letter J is only 400 years old. There's no J in Hebrew. He was a born Hebrew. Letter J is only 400 years old in the English alphabet. He died 1900 years ago. It's impossible for his name to be called Jesus. His name is Yahshua. Yahshua means Yahweh is salvation. See, the name Yahweh is his heavenly father. That's why you got hallelujah. It means praise be to Yahweh. You breathe the heavenly father's name. Psalms 150 verse 6 said, Let everything that hath Yahweh hath breath praise Yahweh. You breathe. <gasps> That's the breath of life. That's why the trees make the letter Y, testifying to Yahweh. The veins in the leaf of the tree make the letter Y. The root systems make the letter Y. All your veins and arteries make the letter Y, testifying to Yahweh and Yahshua. You breathe the Father's name. When you walk, you walk Yahweh, Yahweh. When the birds fly, they go Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Way. The bird feather makes the letter Y. The bird foot makes the letter Y. All your, your legs that you like. You got the femur bone, you got the tibia and the fibula. You're standing on the letter Y for Yahweh and Yahshua. Yahshua is the truth. When the Savior was on the cross, he's making the letter Y, testifying to Yahweh and Yahshua. Do you understand? And that's why we say the fish bone makes the letter Y. You, the lightning that flashes across the sky makes the letter Y. Who made the lightning? Huh? It's proving that the true name is Yahweh and his son Yahshua. Your life, is, your life is a gift, and so is eternal life a gift. You can't pay for eternal life. Yahweh is likened unto the air. The air is invisible, but you need it to live. You understand? And so Yahweh is invisible, and you need the Holy Spirit to live. And in John 17 and 3, he said, and this is life eternal, that they might know that Yahweh is the only true Elohim and Yahshua Messiah whom thou hast sent. Yahshua means Yahweh is salvation. Salvation's right within the name of the Savior, Yahshua. These are heavenly names. Man is the one that put Lord, God, and Jesus in the Bible. But the true name is Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. That's why they say hallelujah in the church. Hallelujah means praise be to Yahweh. All the Bible names have Isaiah, Jeremiah, but there's no J, so it's Jeremiah, Obadiah. They all have meanings. Jeremiah means Yahweh exalts. Isaiah means Yahweh is salvation. Zechariah means Yahweh remembers. No, I'm spiritual Israelite because I'm an Israelite. The, the real light is Yahshua the Messiah. See that sun in the sky. Nothing can live without the sun. So nothing can live without the spiritual sun, which is Yahshua the Messiah. He is the real light. They don't even believe he's come yet. Plus, to be Jewish, the letter J is only 400 years old, and there's no J in Hebrew. So to call yourself a Jew, that's crazy. You understand? The letter J is only 400 years old. There's no J in Hebrew. It's impossible to be called a Jew. And since there's no Jew, it would be, it's a you. <laughs> and you is a female sheep. <laughs> you understand? But we need to be impregnated with the truth. No. No, Yahweh is spirit. And spirit is the universal source and substance from which everything emanates therefrom and yet abides within. He is the life force of everything. Just like it says in uh, Acts 17, 24, Yahweh that made the world and all things therein, seeing he's ruler of heaven and earth, he dwelleth not in temples made with hands. He said he made ever, the world and everything therein. He don't dwell in temples made with hands, neither is he worship with man's hands. He don't, if God needs your money, that's a poor God. And he says, seeing he giveth to all life, breath, and all things. Your physical life was a gift. 
Can you prove who made you? Most people can't. But if you take the Bible and you learn about the tabernacle pattern, the tabernacle pattern was the most written about thing in the Bible. And everything is made by a pattern. Your body is a tabernacle. And tabernacle, when you look it up in a dictionary, a tabernacle means a place of worship. It means a tent-like structure. This is like a tent. It's temporary. It says it's a temporary abode of the soul, especially the human body. See? And so that tabernacle, back with Moses 3,500 years ago, it took nine months to be built. See? That's why it takes nine months for the physical body to be formed. See, in the same way that tabernacle is formed is the same way the physical body is formed. In the, you've got a head cavity, a chest cavity, abdominal cavity, showing Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. These three are one. The trees are the root, the trunk, and the branches. Three parts, one tree. The seed is the shell, the meat, and the germ. Three parts, one seed. The leaf is the stem, the leafy part, and the veins. They branch off to the letter Y, showing Yahweh and Yahshua. And see, Yah is masculine and Way is feminine. That's why everything he made was male and female. But when they took Yahweh out of the Bible and put Lord there, that's man only. There's no female there. And when they took Elohim out of the Bible and put God, that's, that's male only. Can a man with a man have a son named Jesus? Nope. <laughs> man with a man can't have no baby. It takes a man and a woman come together now the creator is Yahweh he's masculine and feminine in principle that's why everything he made is male and female and that's why you can't change his name to something else see and so the savior's name is Yahshua it's been a long, around for a long time these are heavenly names these are the names that he calls himself and don't you think he's intelligent enough to tell you what his name is see and that's why we say in Psalms 150 and 6, it said, Let everything that hath breath praise Yahweh. So you breathe. No, no, no. That's the breath of life, is Yahweh. 